That's sad. He's taking the order somewhere. It's done. Yeah, that's that's seven years of hard training going right there. Leave the memories alone. I don't want them to change. Does he earn? Does he earn the homestead now? Like, did Achilles leave it to him in his will, or is, was there even wills back there? Like, he just lives there now. Is anyone gonna ever come up to him and say, "Hey, who's the owner of this white house?" I suppose if he ever did that, you know, he could just go out there and hunt some stuff and buy it. But yeah, that's basically it. God, he's still hurt. Oh yeah, see, see, this is good. All that time later, the war is finally over. Well, his war, at least, is finally over. Take that modern day looking Tom Hawk out. Yep, you did it. You earned it, Connor. Wow. God, I really wish I hadn't seen that. That is so bad looking. But oh well. So uh, let's fast travel, eh? You know, we are. Uh, we don't have to do it like that anymore. We can just. We can. We can just go to shit now. Uh, this is also a time if you want. You can do all his all of his peg leg trinkets now. Oh wait, no, I didn't show that. Never mind. That was for something I did in my spare time when I was just screwing around. Oh, that's awesome looking. Okay, now I can see why everyone was raving about the coat. It looks awesome like that. It's the first time I was seeing the coat with actually from not from the behind or anything. It looks pretty cool. The hood. Um, apparently there was a patch or something. Because uh, if you don't know, once you finish the game, you can't put the hood back on. It's pretty simple. But apparently there was a patch or something that allowed you to. But I, I don't know what it is. There's like a button that you can something you can press now. I'm, I'm gonna try. I'll try them all now, but. Yeah, there was a pa there, there's there. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> there was a patch or something. Apparently, you can. Oh, well, the patch did work. The hood is on. Yeah, before when you um finished the game and tried any of this, the patch was just off. You know, you couldn't do a shit about it. That was just how it worked. So uh, yeah. Okay, let's fast travel more. So yeah, so apparently the patch allows you to put the uh, hood back on because people were complaining or something. You know, it was really annoying. That the, the whole thing about Assassin's Creed is the hood. You know, you keep your face clouded from everything. All right, let's see what this man has to do back in our homeland. What are you doing here, also? If you're hungry, have extra. Ah, oh, sounds sweet. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. What? Seeing it happen more and more. BRB. The government says they don't take land that's already owned, but... Uh... <laughs> How could this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parts and labour, which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy, not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. To British. Why the fuck does he have his head up like that? Does he still not trust him? Oh wow, graphical glitch much? Thank you. Be safe. I intend to. Alright, sweet. I love it. I, I'm uh, really liking this change now. It was really annoying not having the hood on before. 
you know, but it's cool that's back. What the hell is this? I never saw these. Fort Templar. Templars are gone, stupid! Well, at least I think they're gone. Well, no, they weren't part of the British, were they? Oh, well. I don't care. Yeah, so he's finally figuring out that even that freedom will never come. Freedom will never come without a price. These people have been driven out of their land even though they were promised it. Even the whole reason they were fighting was for the land. So all he's just gone from one tire and he leader to another. No offense to America crazy. I'm just saying, that's how the game's trying to make it look. You know? It's not me talking or anything, it's just how the game's trying to make it look. I don't know anything about American or British history. We didn't have a history class per history class per se in Australia about that shit. Um, yeah. So let's go to this other objective. Can we fast travel? No, I didn't think so. No worries. I can run there. It'd be good to have one last look at the game. One last look at Boston, I think. Ah! Are you okay, sir? I hate that we can't kill random guys anymore. It's a little, a little disheartening. Oh well, not my concern. Let's take a little swim for the last time. Yes, this is the last episode. I can't believe it. We started this. Uh, I think it was November. Yeah, I think it was like late November. So it's taken me a month and a, two, probably two months. Let's just even it out to be two months. I think so. It's been fun. Definitely been fun. It's been a blast, actually. Had tons of fun making this game, playing this game. I mean, well, I didn't make it, so playing this game. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say here. I can't wait for the next Assassin's Creed game. Personally, I like the R uh, character Connor. I definitely hope they bring him back in the next game. Because I read, um,. In an interview or something, that the reason they brought Ezio back for so many games was obviously because people liked Ezio. So, and apparently they didn't like Altair until they didn't have any, him, any, didn't have him anymore. That's what the guys in the interview, at least, the people didn't like him at first, but probably because of how generic the game, the first game was. But once you know, once they didn't have him anymore, once Ezio came along, you know, sad, um, Altair fanboys cried out, even though there was an Altair mission in Assassin's Creed 2, not in Brotherhood though. And he came back in Revelations. I think it was Brotherhood they started missing him, like, fully. But yeah, like, the reason they keep coming back was because people like him. Mister, please, can you help me? No. I'm sorry, no. I don't want to do any of this last stuff's game. How much I love doing this game, I want it to be done so I can start doing more games. So yeah, they're not red cards anymore. Look at them. They're just guards now. Police guards. So I thought that was cool, like that he actually explained it. So, and he uh, explained that the whole that if um that making another Assassin's Creed game featuring Connor as the main character will depend on the fans. Although it, he also said that even if the fan reception is really good to him, it's also that's all the chance of him having his own game, another game, is hindered by the fact that um Desmond's dead. Although he's, he's perceived to be dead. He never actually explained if Desmond was dead or not, which kind of got my hopes up a little little bit, but, uh, yeah, so, that was all explained. The British are leaving. It's because of Connor, mostly. America has no need for your Send them services, back to Britain gentlemen. in a box. You bastards. Death to the oppressor! Down. So that was it. All that all kind of work, they they left. He, what the hell is he still hurt or something? That's ridiculous. Oh, and look at that. Slaves. Connor doesn't know what to make of that, but I think he's realizing there that, again, you never have absolute freedom. So now we have a we have a slave trader here. See, 
selling his wares. I don't like you, slave trader. I'm gonna steal from you. What if I could steal from the slaves? That'd be pretty cool. Obviously. Wow. I think they're finally going on. Oh. I need help. Uh, Over here. That's funny. Oh, okay. There is one more thing I can do. Well, I'm, I'll get on it then. I don't know why I'm going back to the frontier, but yeah. So as you can see there, they're kind of just realizing that there will never be absolute freedom, because now those of different color have seemed to be bad. Or will seem to be beneath those of the white man. I believe it was uh. I don't remember who said it. I, someone said in this game, I don't think it was a modern day character, but they said they, they fight for absolute freedom, yes, but only. Anything. But, to, we'll take anything but it seems to, to be able to. Some, I can't remember what it was. It was something really like insightful. Basically, they said to have absolute freedom in the country of America, you have to be to have the skin of white. I think it was something like that, yeah. Well, okay, I'm stupid. But yeah, so that's awesome. So that was awesome to that like that was awesome to explain. If you could spare a fight for us, please be I'm sure you would, but I can't. Because you know, I want to be done. Obviously things are different now. So sure you could, but I'm gone. See ya. But yeah, obviously things have changed in this modern day. Two hundred sadly it took two hundred and two hundred something years later, but you know, I think it changed. Very insightful, though. Very insightful. Very harsh as well. It seems nothing really different happened. Except America came free. They became their own country. I think Australia could ever do that. I think if we ever tried that, our like economy would just fail so bad. We need we need Britain more than ever. Why am I going now? Can I fast travel? I can. Sweet. What am I doing in Boston? I thought I was done. I thought those were the only two last things you could do. I don't know. I don't know. I'm nearly done anyway. <laughs> Man, something smells good. Damn, this cooking food. I have to go get something. It smells like toast or something burning. So either someone's cooking toast or something's on set on fire. Might have a cup of noodles after this. Ah, yeah. See, I remember this. This is the pivot. This when they talk about the pivots and that. All right, we're up and running. This code is hacked to all hell. Nicely hacked, but hacked. The worm found three pivots before failing, so we've got those. You need to locate the remaining pivots on your own from inside. The three we've got will triangulate the rest. It's a sweet bit of hacking on my part, if I dare say. Each pivot detects the others in proximity. There should be 12 total. Everyone you find is supposed to produce a hex cipher, and that's what we're after. Once you find them all, we'll sequence the code, package the data, and Bob's your uncle. Now, don't putz around too much in revolutionary America. I know it's tempting. Well, come on, then. If I can be done with this episode. Oh, I see. So I've planted two of our pivots. Not easy for my end, believe you me. But there they are. You can see those two activating a buried one. Kinda. If you drop the third one we have, the buried pivot's precise location should resolve. Then go gather the hex cipher, rinse, and repeat. If you get a chance, I'd love to see Franklin's glass harmonica in person. Just a side note. Have fun. Oh, thank you. Alright. Finn. Yep. Basically it. Game's over. Oh, I haven't picked it up before. 
Why is it a horse? Oh, it's a unicorn, sorry. Alright, so that's it. Game over. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Aussie Other Plan Assassin's Creed 3. Expect a new game. Go oh, next day, I guess. Definitely won't have to wait long. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.